Hey Boxers, welcome to the new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a very special video. And let's dive into the two comments that I picked from the last video that were true worthy to this tutorial. First of all, it's Jimmy on glitch, glitchy thumbs. Awesome tutorial, Philip. Now I have a better grasp of Magicka Voxel, but I can't seem to figure out how to export the textures uh, myself either with Buildbox from Blender, which is a common question. We also have a comment from Algox that says 1905 where the texture is imported I think is super value when importing into Buildbox 3. I wonder if Blender and other pro programs have textures. Without texture the object always looks meh. Thanks for sharing. So thanks to these awesome people I've decided to do this great tutorial into how to properly import your textures from Magicka Voxel or any other program into Blender and then in Blender how you can export the textures and make them work properly when importing them into Buildbox. Like you can see in the background we have a fully amazing working texture thing here that is working fine, all the colors are set up. So in this tutorial you're going to be learning that, but before we dive into the video, don't forget to comment as I will be picking out one or two comments for the next video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, hit that notification bell so you're updated about all the upcoming videos for Saturdays, Wednesdays, Fridays and these kind of things, you will be updated for them. And of course, don't forget to join our awesome community where you can get help, support and just chat with all sorts of people that to develop games just like you. Enjoy the video. So in this tutorial we are going to create a texture or actually work with a texture that we created in Magicka Voxel and then going to be importing into Buildbox the proper way. Uh, you can of course also use this in other engines like Unity or Unreal Engine or whatever you prefer but I want to show you guys how to actually properly import texture. So I'm going to open the model here that I created in Magicka Voxel um, and which I then created a texture for in Photoshop based on the texture output that was created in Magicka Voxel. So I'm going to import a OBJ. I'm going to redirect to my Magicka Voxel folder where I'm going to open this house that OBJ file. <laughs> when it is imported I'm going to click N and I'm going to go to my transform for my wall object because what I want to check is the exact size of my object which is very nice. We now see that the textures are blank and I want to fix a couple things to be sure that this all works properly. So before we dive into these things we're going to go press tab and select this object here, this outer corner. Then pr press tab, select one face and when we've selected this face, we're going to go to Mesh, Snap, and Cursor to select it. From there we take, uh, take Tap again, go to the Cursor, Set Origin, and do Origin to 3D Cursor. This of course only works for this object, so let's do Control or just press A. Then Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. This will allow us to snap the object in, a, in the right manner. As an example, if I select A here and I turn on the snapping settings, which is this little C-like icon, and I will start moving this around. So you can do this right here, but that doesn't work, so we want to do an other fix here, which is absolute snapping, which will snap it around the grid right over here. What we're now getting, going to be doing is creating the right setup. So if you go over to shading here, you will see that my shading already applies in the browser. It is working perfectly fine. So what I want to do right now is I first want to go to texture paint where I have this great texture for my model that is available over here. What I want to do is I want to go over to the image here, then go to save as, go to the folder that I want to share it or save it in that will be textures for me. I will create a texture which is called house.png and save image as. I can go back over to layout, go to file, export, then export as obj. 
go to my texture or tutorial folder, which is textures, and save this as house. And now we are going to be exiting out of Blender. Now that Buildbox is opened, we're going to go to new project here, create empty, and we're going to be needing to do a couple of things. So we're going to delete the 2D world and we're going to drag in a 3D world and connect that to the load over there. Then we're going to go into the 3D world where we're then going to be importing our model by opening our tutorial folder, holding and dragging the house over to the object in this case. And then when we have the house, we see that it's very small and you can resize that properly to whatever you want. In my case, one of the things that I, I want to adjust here that I find, think would be nice is going over to house and set the collision group to the platform so that it stays in place. Then I want to go over to the 3D model here and I want to go and select a texture over here. I can't just double click it or click on it. I need to go to my texture folder, create or select my house texture. Go back into build box and drag that in there. We now see that we properly aligned all the new textures for our model. So they are properly working, there's no issues, there's no colors that don't work, everything is working.